Jameis, this is you, buddy. Jameis. Huge fish. You got the first one. Peeling out the rag. It's heavy. It is heavy. Chris's friend, the birdie's back. What are we doing tonight? Trying to catch some gar. Trying to catch some river monsters. Yes, some long nosed gar. So, this is our last night in the Outer Banks. And the kids wanted, well, mainly I wanted to see if either one of these kids can wrestle in one of these huge gar that Chris and I have been catching the last few nights down here. So yesterday, we came over to the cut and we tried catching some small spot. And this kid and I were pulling in rockfish two at a time. They didn't have any size to them, but they're a whole lot of fun. We caught some black drum, we caught plenty of spot. And then this happens. What do you got, buddy? Here, stand up, stand up. Oh, that, that's getting heavy, isn't it? Stand up. You got a big catfish? Oh, that's a nice, what is that? Oh, you got a speckled sea trout, dude. Are you kidding me? That's a keeper. Give me some. You are the luckiest kid in the world. Here, hold the rod. I'm pretty sure that's a keeper. It's definitely a speck. Let's uh, pop it off the hook. Nice, dude. Wow. That's a keeper. That's going to be dinner, dude. Knuckles on that. Boop. Why are you so lucky? <laughs> he know. caught us dinner. He caught a beautiful 15 inch speckled sea trout and it was delicious. What are we doing tonight? Let me show you. So we're going to put out these two lines here. We had the GoPro trying to catch some live footage, but it's probably going to be too dark for that. We just have a uh, fish finder, a big hook, so the weight is separate from the hook. So these fish actually like eating dead fish. So we have the, uh, the spot dead. We got a couple little snapper blues in here from uh, the beach today because we we're going to get grandma a couple blue fish. Gotcha. But the gar actually prefer dead fish. So we're going to throw two dead spot out there and let them take it. So they're gonna snatch it in their bill and they're gonna go swimming off with it. And sometimes you gotta wait a few minutes before you set the hook. You can actually feel them take it and you like flip the bow and just let them feed line and then you feel them stop. And that's when they're like playing with it. And then eventually they'll choke it down and that's when you set the hook. So this should be interesting. We're gonna try to make a video. Let's see what happens. The next shot's probably gonna be on the GoPro which sucks at night, so sorry about that. But I'll turn on this camera as soon as I think something's happening. Let's go fishing. You guys ready? Yeah. 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 Yummy. Gar's gonna come eat it. Yep. Okay. Seamus, move. Go, Seamus. Go somewhere else. Okay, so we cast out the first rod. Why is it shaking a little? I just threw oh, sorry, it out I got that wrong. We're gonna use the second rod out, and that's better. She was stop talking. That's it. Gar are apparently lazy. So, they prefer eating dead fish. Seamus, don't shake the cooler, buddy. We got the GoPro mounted to the cooler. Of course, he's touching the cooler. What do kids do? Exactly what you tell them not to. <laughs> so, uh, lines are slack. Both fish are dead. So, we know if anything grabs them, it's game on. Let's go fishing. I cannot wait for something to grab these lines. I know it's just a matter of time. But... When one goes down, I'm going to grab the line, I'm going to grab the rod and let it free spool. Grace, you're, I'm going to hand you this camera so we have a decent footage. Mm -hmm. Seamus, you need to wind in the other rod so we don't get tangled up in it, okay? Mm -hmm. And as soon as Daddy sets the hook, I'm handing it to... Who wants to go first? Me. Seamus wants to go first. Okay, well, we might only catch one fish. Seamus might get the big one. <sighs> Nothing yet. Thing we can see in there is crash. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Take video. Here. Put that down somewhere. James, wind that right in. Okay. Wind it in. You can leave it in there. Oh, yep. Come here, Grace. Come here. Come here. Come here. What? Look at the reel. See it taking it out? Yep. I'm just feeding it to him. He'll stop and oh, choke it down. Something. No, it's just a big bait on there, Seamus. It's okay. He'll stop and choke it down. Well, wow, that, that took no time at all. Look, he's just, he just stopped? Yeah. He's probably choking it down. Wait, look at my tip of my rod. I know, it's okay. It's a big fish on there. Oh, he may have turned fish. around, too. 
trust me you won't know a big fish you feel one of these i'm just letting them eat it because they they put it in their their long nose and swim around with it my heart's racing right now because i want to see seamus on this oh he got a big crab dude here get it in get it in get it in oh, oh a crab a crab gosh you Oh, he's got my foot. That's all right. We'll let him go. Oh, great. He's back. Bye-bye. He ate it. I let him stop. Just set the hook. Yeah. We let him eat it. We let him eat it. All right. You ready? Yep. You got the camera on? I got it on. Watch out. All right, I'm setting the hook, Shannon. Oh, guys. Oh, gosh. Oh. What? Didn't let him take it long enough. I I the lines are reset. <laughs> it's it's so exciting because I know how big these these fish are. It's just very, it's hard to be patient to let them choke it down. <sighs> All right, hopefully we get another chance. Well, one just picked it up. We're gonna let him take it this time. We'll leave that rod up too, just for fun. Since I threw this one out the other way. He's not peeling out yet. The reason you do this is because if they feel any resistance, like I said, they're just swimming around with it in their like their beak, their snout. They'll they'll drop it. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he's going now. This is so cool. All right, Seamus. I think we're gonna get this one. Why not other line in? Seamus, come why, on. Why, why not line in, buddy? Grace, over here. I know, I'm getting the oh, net. We don't need the net yet. Just in case. We're, we're going to let him just take it. If he's swimming around with it, it'll stop and choke it down. You see the line in the, the camera? He's, he's going now. And then he's going to stop. <laughs> this is so wild. So, Chris and I came here a few nights ago, live lining. Well, we came here to fish, and we were bottom fishing with blood worms and cut bait, and I threw out a live line, and we started catching this huge gar, and uh, we decided to look it up to see if anybody eats them, and apparently they do, and they're delicious, so at the yeah. end of the night, we oh, kept one. Something. Huh? It's oh, you got another crab. Oh. Well, it's okay. He, he fell off. That's fine. So you're crabbing over there. We're, oh, he just stopped. So he's probably trying to choke it down now. He's slowed up. Oh no. Now he's taking off again. He's just going with it. The other reason why I'm, I'm using braided line is hopefully the braid gets caught up in his snout and all his little teeth. Because he like flips the fish around before he chokes on it. Should I set the hook? I don't okay, know. Okay, he just stopped. Next time he takes off, he's eating it right now. Next time he takes off. He's, he's just sitting there. He's going, shit. Shams, you're the one who's going to be trying to they get this. like a big, like, almost looks like a pelican, like, under beak to choke down larger perp fish. But he's just sitting on it. I'm going to wait till he takes off again. Unless he's sitting, unless he's coming back at us now. He shouldn't be. There's mosquitoes out here. There's absolutely zero wind, and we're getting torn up. I'm trying not to. I don't even know if he's still out there. He may have dropped it. That place is just eating. Let's see if he's coming at me. I'm going to start whining. He came back at me. He turned. So as soon as I feel pressure, I might get him. Maybe you should try it first and then we can let Seamus try because he's never done this before. No, I don't feel anything. Did you get it off the hook? I think he just dropped it. Got him! Seamus, this is you, buddy. What the? Seamus. <laughs> Huge fish. You got the first one. Just peeling out the rag. Gosh, it's heavy. It is heavy. Grace, you got that? Yep, I got it. I right, got the come net. A, come a little closer, Grace. You stay there. Whatever you do, it might get scary. Do not yeah. drop the fishing rod. I'm scared. But don't be scared. You got to get a little closer in case he, he comes up. We gotta get a little closer, just to the edge of the grass. Come closer, buddy. 
edge. Here, Grace, give me the net. Sorry. You're the recorder lady. He's gonna get crazy when he gets up close, okay? Seamus? I'm gonna you stand gotta, back no, a little. You gotta step forward. Feet getting oh, ready. There he is. See him? He's huge. Grace, you see him? Yes. We got a glimpse of him. All right, Grace. Come get the net. Wow. Come get the net job. Just hold the camera. So it's okay, buddy. It's okay. Grace, you see the fish? Yep. Keep it on the fish. Seamus, you're fine. Whoa. Can we keep this one? Back. Hold on. Oh I got net him from gosh. the back. That's a huge. Oh, nope, it's not time. He's not ready yet. So it's okay. It's heavy. I know, I know. Gosh. Come a little closer, buddy. You gotta come bring the rod closer. Bring the rod closer. What is it? Bring the rod closer. <laughs> it looks like a narwhal, kind of. If you net them from the front, the beak gets caught in the net. So you gotta, you gotta net them from the back. Here, turn them. Turn them this way. You're good. You're good. Here, come, come closer. This is my chance. This is my chance. Seamus, come closer. Come closer. Whoa! He jumped. We got him. Whoa! You got him, dude. It's huge. You got him. Oh my! Look at all that meat. <laughs> Dude, give me some. You just caught a river monster. <laughs> we did it. Where we did it, it, buddy. It's a long nosed gar. It's exactly what we were trying to catch. Gar. Dude. Boom. <laughs> I love when a plan comes together. We brought the big cooler tonight, oh, as you can see. And it's gone right And in this cooler. is a meaty look. fish. Look, look, what's wrong? That hard fish in my Oh no, don't <laughs> give the fish that finger. What, did your hand hurt? Yeah. It like cut it a little bit. Alright. We're gonna get this beast off the hook. Take a few pictures, which I'm gonna flash up for right now. Whew. In the meantime, I'm gonna throw that other rod out. What do you think? Yep. Grace, you're next. I know. Let's get some. Let's get another one. Be very careful. Watch out. Good thing we brought the big cooler, huh? <laughs> Grace, over here, what are you doing? I gotta wipe the slime on you. No! <laughs> so we measured it up and it's uh, 39 inches. The biggest one we caught, I think, was 42. So there's some there's some big mount mama jammies in here. <sighs> All right, Grace, your turn. Let's go. Woo! And I'm about to win, and I'm about to win. I'm gonna cast out this last bait. Yep. That rod there, unfortunately, a crab got that bait, so. And it bit off its head. The good thing is, this is the lucky fishing pole. And this is the lucky hat, because this is the hat that, that that bird pooped on. So, last chance. Might be calling it a night early. Last bait is out. Fingers crossed. Oh no! I'm sorry Grace, Daddy just found you. Maybe it's the luck of Seamus, but... We weren't having any luck, so I went to recast our last bait. And the fish came off the hook, because I tried whipping away over there in the secret spot. And now we're out of bait which means we're done fishing. So, we did get what we came for. We at least got Seamus on a huge long nose gar. Hope you guys enjoyed it, we certainly did. Let's take a, one more look at this thing before we go and pack up. Can you grab this stuff, Grace? Look at this beast. Boom! We all caught it together. He's still alive. That's awesome. Don't you think that was awesome? <laughs> we all caught it together. Shane is actually already sitting in the truck. We've been here maybe an hour and a half and we had action. We landed one, which is awesome. I really would have liked to get Grace on one, but Daddy just failed miserably. And I'm sorry. And now vacation's over and I'm really sad. We got to go. <sighs> but now you guys know how to catch it. Long nose gar. If you're ever, uh, trying to catch them. Let them take it. See you later. Hold on, I got the bag on there. What's in there, Seamus? 
Yep, yeah, he's still alive. He's looking at you saying, why'd you do that? I'm so sad. We got one. Seamus caught a dinosaur. Yeah, I think he's tired. We all caught it. It was a team effort. We couldn't have done it without anybody. I think his daddy failed grace. <laughs> and it doesn't help that Seamus is the luckiest man in the world. Watch this. You even gonna make it up that hill, boy? You think so? Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Oh! Seamus! Seamus, come on, give me some! <laughs> Dude, that was awesome! I'm over here talking smack and he just got an ace. Luckiest kid in the world, right there. Hey, give me some lottery ticket numbers. What? Give me some numbers. 14. 14. 11. 11. 5. 5. 6. 6. 1. 1. 0. 0's not even a number. Get out of here. Uh, uh, Who wants to eat some dinosaur? Bring it home. Alright, Uncle wait, Max. Wait. I want some velociraptor. This, this little monkey right here caught this fish, so we want to see what you think about yes. some, some dinosaur. Right, gotta go in. Okay, no sauce first. No sauce. Yeah. Okay. As soon as we called him, he was like, Uncle Max would eat this. <laughs> oh, man. But I eat you, you fish the target right here. I eat we let so many go. Mm. It's good, isn't it? It is kind of like the alligator, man. Yum. They say it's most most similar to alligator tail. Yeah, but sometimes the alligator's got like gristle in it. This is pure, chewy. It's like... I don't know. It's, it's been a while. Let me get in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. I bet you guys were sad you threw that first one back. <laughs> we threw a lot of them back. <laughs> no, right. Well, this is the only one we caught this night because I failed Grace. Sorry, Grace. Not anymore. <laughs> did you try the dinosaur yet? Okay, did you try it? Well, did you try it? Mm. Did you try it? Mm. I'm gonna. Tastes like a bit. Mm -mm. That's a good thing. All right, we're done here.